necessarily the essence of ancestral veneration, if you will, but the remembrance of ancestors. Yeah, yeah. That's the strongest piece that we have. That's the strongest piece that we have as it relates to uh, calling the names of our ancestors because we know that it was power in our ancestors and this is why uh, those who brought us here in bondage worked so hard to separate us from our ancestors, Yebo? Yeah, because none of us got here on our own, Yebo? Yeah, That's right. And so I want you to just quiet your spirit and just reflect on struggle, reflect on possibility, and reflect on, the, uh, on strength that there are many people who came here before us uh, whose shoulders we stand on, whose legacy we continue to build on. And we cannot go forward without honoring them because one day we too will be in the dust. Yeah, Bo? That's right. And as we, as we reside in the dust, then we will need to be remembered by our names being called. And if we don't set the example for our children to call our ancestors' names, then what right or responsibility do we have to demand of them to call our names? Yeah, Bo? Right. And so today, I'm going to uh, sprinkle water, and, and, and let's just clarify how this works. That the pouring of libation, for those of you that may, uh, this may be your first time seeing this, the pouring of libations is a process of reciprocity. It's our way of saying that we give you the life, that uh, uh, force that, that keeps us here, and it's very <coughs> symbolic. We don't think that our ancestors is actually drinking this, it's none of this stuff that some of these major Western religions have duped us into believing in the, in the rest of that. This is strictly about remembering your mother, remembering your grandmother, remembering the mothers of your mother's mothers and their fathers as well. Yeah, That's right. Because in the absence of them, none of you will be here. That's right. And you will be real wrong to let anybody tell you that you don't owe them that reverence. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. So I will start in Swahili and then repeat it in English, and then we will call some of those names that have us here today. Sifa Ote Ina, my Bible way, who see all praises due to the African Creator. Sifa Ote Ina, my way, who see all praises due to the African ancestors. Sifa Ote Ina, Ote way, who see all praises due to the African people. In the spiritual memory of that first African that ever walked the shores of humanity, to that first African whose loins all of us fall from, we say and pour libations. I shame to that spiritual memory of those millions of Africans who on the African continent fought for the right to be African, we say and pour I shame. To the spiritual memory of Mama House, who brought forth one of the first cases of reparations to the United States. We say in poor libations, I say. To the spiritual memory of Queen Mother Moore, Baba Hannibal Afrik, Baba Jacob Carruthers, Dr. Anderson Thompson, Harriet Tugman, we say in poor libations, I say. To the spiritual memory of Shokwe Lumumba, Dr. Mari Obadeli, and so many others whose names we know, and thousands more whose names we do not know, we say in poor libations, I say. And finally, to the spiritual memory of those yet unborn, to those who have not been produced yet, to those that will continue our legacy, to those that will look back on this day and say they was doing the work in 2016 and let us continue to move forward, to those that are not yet born that will inherit our legacy to maintain our humanity, we say, in poor libations. Ashe? Ashe. Ashe? Ashe. 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 The ancestors are pleased, and Asante Sana, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.